this is just a quick update on the new solar charge controller I got. So right here, this is the HQST uh, 30 amp, 12 or 24 volt uh, solar charge controller with DC load. Currently it is running my three 150 watt uh, panels. It has been upgraded. It has a touchscreen interface where you can choose uh, standard lead acid sealed gel or flooded or lithium ion uh, charging types. Right now I have my uh, load, DC load on. It has an LCD light up screen. It shows me that I'm putting 15.1 volts. It's a 12 volt uh, parallel, uh, 0.64 amps. My batteries are currently at 100%. This is a PWM, not an MPPT for my use. That's what I use. Uh, we're holding at 14.4 volts maximum voltage on the batteries. We are putting 0, 0.00 amps to the DC load, and I have charged 89 amp hours since I put this in the other day. Really rolls, and I've doused out one amp hour to a light, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, temperature is 25C, and I don't know what that, uh, 15 is the mode and no error code. 15 is mode for manual. Right now I'm charging a PlayStation controller. I have a light up cable so I can see when it's on. I also ran a DC uh, fused, little tiny uh, junk ever, whatever, start inverter that I got, I think at Walmart. You can see the, uh, ouch, the MC4 connectors coming in on the 10, uh, 10 gauge wire. And I marked my positive, of course. And what I can do on this cheesy one is I can just turn this on and now this is on the button for manual. That's the mode I was talking about when it had 15 or whatever it was. So I can just push this and turn it on and then this will come on and it turns an emergency light on right here. And I still have all of my big stuff like the uh, pure sine wave. I just go crazy on inverters. The pure sine wave, I have a Stanley 800 watt. I have another Ever 750. These are not hooked up. This is hooked up, it's fused. It's got a fuse here, uh, the digital gauge, my 12 CSB uh, 75 amp hour batteries. I have an isolator and it goes all the way down. So it's all 12 of them. And I run this one, this is the pure sine wave with the zero gauge and this charge controller is really rocking. I had a cheap 30 amp, 12 volt before, and it did okay, but it didn't have a lot of features. This also has a Bluetooth module and an RS-232 or an Adreno board. You could put uh, different things on for COM port and different monitoring. So this DC load port will also handle 30 amp. It is negative grounded, so you can ground this to your regular ground. And right now I ground mine through the household ground down to the main inverter. And the batteries are all, they were all tied in together. Everything's fused. Uh, I have the uh, MC4 fuses up on the roof underneath the panels. Each one has a fuse in it on the positive side. And uh, we're good to go. So right now the batteries are full. And it's a cloudy day, so we're not really getting much. Uh, 14 volts out of a panel, that's 12, 0.64 amps. It's not gonna charge too greatly because it is, of course, 100% full. So it goes into either an equalize or a bulk or whatever. Yeah, right now it's on bulk. So that's currently it. We are charging my PlayStation. I'll turn this off and that shuts that off too. Or you can, you know, turn it off this is just for just emergencies i don't know why i had it i had a fuses i figured i'd hook it up so that's the hqst 30 amp solar charge controller it is pwm and uh so far so good i like it thanks for watching hope you learned something